the fastest way to get better at something is just to keep doing it. And so an easy example is there's a lot of people that play golf and a lot of people want to be better at golf. It's it's very simple. You you just have to practice more. Most people don't practice golf. Most people just go play on the weekend, but they'll play, you know, 18 on their weekend with their buddies, let's say once a month, but they never practice. So all they're really doing is maintaining exactly what they are. So this applies for wrestling. You're going to practice. You're doing the same thing. You're wrestling in a tournament. You're just kind of going through the motions. And not just going through the motions. It's, well, I'm not, I'm not getting better. I'm, I'm just kind of maintaining where I'm at. The level of your practice, the level of how much you prepare is the level at which you perform at. If you practice five hours a day and it's mediocre practice and you're not really paying attention to what you're doing, then you're not really preparing. If you practiced one hour a day and it was super attention to detail, it was crisp, it was everything you did, you were paying attention to. It was intentional. That would make you better. That would better prepare you. The intensity, the amount of reps, and what you did in an hour could be more beneficial than what someone does in five hours. If you're just goofing off, you're just in the room to be in the room going through the motions not paying attention then it's kind of worthless you're not really going to get that much better what's going to happen is you're at practice you're going to be kind of good enough you're going to semi understand what's going on but you're not going to be the best you can be That's the struggle. You can be really good, but you won't be the best. How intense do you practice? How intense do you train? That's what sets you apart. That's what makes the difference. That's what makes you a champion. This is the midpoint of the season. This is the time where you turn it up a notch. This is the time where you say, all right, let's clock in. Now it's time to go hard. That's the that's the beauty of the two-pound allowance part. It's time to go. It's time to lock in. What's up, guys? This is Mighty Q here with Mighty Q's Locker. And I wanted to talk a little bit about practice. Everyone always talks about practice. And uh, I think it's funny because I was a person that, I I said that really weird. I'm going to start that again. That was really weird. So I started playing sports when I was four years old. I was in the gym with my parents, my sister, and whatnot, and rest and what uh, rest of my family, um, as my grandparents used to own a gymnastics gym. So I was in the gym, <laughs> quite frankly, since before birth. So being a gymnast as a kid, being a wrestler as a kid early on, really was able to set me apart and put me on a and a very different path because those are two very difficult sports but two sports that are 
difficult by the same reasons, but also for two kind of different reasons. So they're both individual sports that score points for a team. So it's also a team sport, but no one really kind of looks at the team. It's, it's still an individual sport. It tests you mentally in the regard of gymnastics, you have to be perfect. That is the goal. A goal we're all told you can't attain. As a gymnast, you want the perfect 10. You have to be perfect. Your your feet and ankles have to be tucked together. Your legs have to be tucked together. You have to land perfect. Stick it. You need that perfect 10. We all know in life we're not perfect, but we're all trying to be. And that's what's the most challenging part about gymnastics. You train relentlessly every day, hours and hours and hours and hours and reps and reps and reps and reps. Trying to be perfect. Perfect. What makes being a gymnast so hard is trying to to be perfect when you know perfect doesn't exist there's always some little deduction somewhere nobody's perfect but yet you're going to be at the gym 45 hours a week on top of other training that you're doing and moving everything else in your life around to train trying to be perfect and for wrestling, it's the the ultimate battle of your mind and how much are you going to push yourself. Knowing you have to meet a weight requirement and the intensity of training nonstop and just completely depleting your body of everything to try to make make weight before you even wrestle. And so two battles of your mind. But what do both do? Both require hours and hours and hours and hours of training to be very good most people don't put in the time most people don't put in enough effort they show up to the first practice or the first week and they go oh what why why am i not beating everybody it's like you've been here for a grand total of three and a half hours that dude over there made it through a full season and he's got like 300 hours. Um, that person over there has been training, you know, has roughly 700 hours. That person over there has 10,000 hours. Oh, that person. Oh, that person. And he's got 15,000 hours of training. Who do you think's going to be the best? The problem is people go 10,000. Wow, that's so much. Oh man, I'm never going to get there. Wow, 10,000. That's just wow, that's that's really a lot. Hooey. Okay, the 10,000. Oh wow, that's a lot. And all this time goes by thinking about wow, 10,000 is a lot. 10,000 is a lot. It's like, yeah, you you know how you get to 10,000? Uh uh you start at 1 and then it goes 2 and then three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You start at one, and you just don't stop doing it. 
That's literally all it is. You start at one and you don't stop. Now you can stop along the way, but it's like if you gave five hours a week to doing anything new, playing an instrument, uh, one if if you wanted to be a stand up comedian, if you wanted to be a musician, whatever it wanted to be, this applies to wrestling or any other sport. If you spent five dedicated hours a week where you're not distracted, you're not thinking about everything else, you are just in that place. You're in the wrestling room and you're thinking about wrestling. You're not thinking about homework. You're not thinking about music. You're not thinking about driving. You're not thinking about anything else. You are thinking about wrestling. You're giving your attention to what you're doing for one hour. And you do that five days a week. You would be astounded how fast you would get better. Dedicate that hour say I'm going to take this one hour five days a week to train and get better and that's all it takes it's literally all it takes and here's the best part if you go but but I have two hours to be able to go perfect then take those two hours you're there for two hours. You can't do anything else but wrestle. So focus on wrestling. Don't focus on anything else. If you are there for two hours, then focus your two hours on it. Just be where you are. So many people do so, spend you know all this time and it's like they're never in the place that they're actually at. Most people go to work. And they never actually focus on their work. They know they have to be there for eight hours a day, but instead of actually being there for the eight hours, their mind is so disconnected and disjointed that it's like, oh, I, I, I've been thinking about all oh, being at home and wanting, wanting to be home and, and doing anything but work. And it's like, you know, you have to be there for eight hours a day, just work and do everything that you can give it your absolute best, give it your hundred percent for the eight hours that you're there. You're not going anywhere else. It's not like you're not going to be there. So get, give your best when you're there. And then the minute that you're done, you're done. Don't think about it. Because the minute you leave those doors, unless you're working from home or unless you have some kind of element where you can do something physically for work at home, you can't do anything about it. Once you leave the office, leave the office. That's it. Think about it tomorrow when you show up. Hey, you know what? You can think about it the last 15 minutes of your drive before you show up. Hey, how do you how am I going to prepare and start my day? I don't know. I think I'm going to work on this thing I finished with yesterday. Done. Boom. And that's where you pick up and that's where you start. Like this applies to practice. When you show up to practice, practice. Don't think about anything else. Be at practice. You show up to the gym, work out. Don't think about anything else. You would be shocked how much more you get done in a day and how much more productive you are and actually how much more energy you have. It takes so much energy to try to work and think about being at home and think about traveling and think about doing all these other things. It's so overwhelming. It's so taxing on your mind. Give yourself a break. Do one thing at a time. For as much as we love to think we can do all these things at once, give yourself a break. Focus on what you're doing. You will be so much better at whatever it is you're doing if you give your 100% focus, your 100% attention 
and your 100% best to anything that you're doing. And if you want to get better at it and you want to do more of it, then do it more every single day. But be where you're at. Do what you're doing and always give your best. All right, guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. If you enjoy this podcast, then the only thing that I ask of you is to share this show with a friend and leave a review. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.